Kips from Chucky and Mosh here. Today we're joined by Dan from 28 Days. How are you going? Hello. Good. Good? Thanks, man. Yeah. Lovely day. Lovely day to be here. Now, we haven't heard much from you guys for a while. No. What have you been doing the last year or so? Um, well, I've only been in the band this year. Um, since I've joined, we've kind of done shows here and there across the country, just weekends and wherever. New South Wales, Queensland, and um, we've been writing an album as well. So. Drum tracking is done, uh, guitars are on the way, vocals, some of them are done, so I mean it's going to take us a long time to get that done I think, uh, but it's on the way. And what we've got is pretty bloody good, so uh, pretty excited about that and then we're just about to do the gutter mouth shows in Jan, so yeah. uh, also got a festival coming up in the fry with D12 and a few other events, 360 D12, D12. <laughs> no M&M, I, I, I don't know how they're going to handle that without M&M. <laughs> should be on the backing track or well, I'm, I'm not really too sure, but yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that one. That's a good fun. Yeah, exactly. So we started this website probably about a year ago. I started doing the reviews. I had to come up with a rating system. I didn't want to use the 5 out of 10, 10 out of 10 all that. Yep. And I narrowed it down to two choices. It had to be out of 50 lines or 28 days. Yeah. And I think I made the right choice. How do you guys feel about being used as a rating system? 28 days. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on that. You're keeping the, you're keeping the name alive and the downtime of 28 days. Everyone so. seems happy with it. Yeah, 28. Yeah. What's the average rating? You get lots of 20s? We're pulling a, yeah, between sort of 19 through to 25s, yeah. so we get a lot of. I've got my two rate out of 7. Like they'll be rating girls and I'll rate them out of 7. Yeah, so we haven't had a 28 yet. You haven't had a 28. Maybe this new album just strip the 28 days out of it. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. So the last few releases you put out a bit, a bit more mainstream. Yep. Since I've styled down, things are a bit more charty, I guess. For sure. Yep. You're about to head out until we got them out. Does this mean we're going to get some more older influence stuff back? On more the, on the, on the new record? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of it, it's, it's fairly mixed. I mean, the band's done a lot of different things um, throughout their span of career, I guess. Every band kind of kind of just changes I guess as they grow older, mature more musical and things like that so um, there are some older kind of punky bar songs on there. Um, the, the old drummer Adrian uh, actually has done a few songs with the guys before I joined so they're a bit more kind of punky fast. The stuff that I've written with the guys is more uh, still in chairsy I guess. Um, kind of mid-tempo classic kind of still um, but yeah, I mean, it's a fine mix. I'm, uh, me and Dame are pushing for Jay to, to do a little bit of uh, hip hop kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. I, I reckon he's bloody good he at that. Good at he's good really good at that. I mean, there's not that many guys in Australia that can do the, the hip hop and the singing and do it well yeah, yeah. and mix it together well. Uh, and the screaming, he does the screaming as well, so he's, he's very well rounded. Um, so the next album, I mean, it's just going to be a, a, a mashup. So what's it like playing in a band with Jay, being stuck in a confined space with him? Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's always entertaining. Um, the guys in 28 Days have, have all got pretty funny personalities. I, I, mean, I just sit back and watch most of the time. Yeah. I just sit I, I sit there and just watch the show. Sit in the hotel room, Jay and Hetler are always, always on fire. Damo, Damo gets in there quite often. When Damo gets going, he gets going pretty well. Then we've got our mix of chippy who's always involved. Um, One of my favourite laugh, things man. is in between songs of 28 day shows. Yeah. Just the crowd copping an earful from Jay. Oh. The whole set. Oh, the it, body jar shows last year and he just gave it to the crowd yeah. for a good solid 30 minutes. He just, he's, he's always on. It, when he's on stage, he's on. When he's off stage, he's on. He's just, he's just an entertaining fella. Um, yeah, it's good for me because it's like after, after playing a fast song, I stop and I've got like a couple of minutes just to to listen to their jokes. Or, yeah, like, a lot of the time they'll say something that's pretty funny, but the crowd won't get it. Like he'll say like during the day we'll be in the car or something, he'll say like you know something funny that happened to him or a, a bit of a joke or whatever. And then on stage we'll bring it up and we all think it's hilarious. But if you look at the people in the crowd, they're just going, what, 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 what's this guy talking about, right? So we touched on before the new album yep. you guys have been working on. 
Have we got any release details for that at this stage or um, a name or anything like that? Name is still in the mix, not too sure yet. Uh, release date is not in the mix yet. I mean, we were, we were talking about trying to get it done this year, yeah. and then it was pushed back to the March. Anyone behind it yet? Sorry? Anyone behind it yet? Label-wise? No, we've got to kind of get something Wait solid to, to do it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're playing for it ourselves, so it's very independent. Um, but we might try to put it out through somebody or yeah. something like that. I mean, whatever kind of comes our way, we'll kind of assess it. Early days, yeah. Uh, very early days, yeah. Uh, it's coming along really well, though. Um, the one thing in particular that I love, uh, it's the one that we've completed the most. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really coming along quite well. Release date, something, yeah. I mean, we've been doing it for ages. Yeah. Um, and it's going to take a while because we really want to make it good and worth putting out, I guess. Yeah. Um, so after so these three shows, you're going to be out on tour again? After these three, we've got a uh, show, Fern Tree Gully, Australia Day Eve, yep. and then Australia Day we go up to Mackay and we've got a festival, uh, which is the Pure Events, and do 12 up there. And we may have something in the mix later in Feb, early March, but that's a little bit better, so I'm not going to stay in sort of the yeah. Uh, but yeah, so for now that's that. Uh, after these kind of shows, we probably won't do much for a while. And then obviously once the album's out, we'll do a international tour and, and we'll see a lot more of doing more days. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks for joining us no today. Worries, man. Thanks for having me. Yep. Nice to meet you guys. Get out to the Gunner Mouse show and check out 28 Days in Victoria. Do it. Boom.